Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jeffrey here. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, I hope you all had a really, really good Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you enjoyed a long uh, weekend. A bit of a different video today. Uh, I treated myself uh, for Christmas to this Nintendo Switch uh, Pokemon Scarlet Violet Edition. It's the OLED model with the bigger and better screen. So yeah, so I think it, this is retailing for three hundred and twenty pounds. Uh, but I don't think you can get it for retail anymore because uh, it's all sold out. But on eBay, the price is not too crazy. You can get this for about three hundred and fifty pounds. So yeah, I mean, let's just have a look at the box itself. So it's quite a nice box. Uh, you got the three starters on there. I think this is uh, this starter is a grass one, which is uh, uh, his name is Pre is Pregi Tito or something. I think it's a Spriga Tito. Yes. And you got Quaxley, the water type, and you got the Fuecoco, which is the fire type. And then you got the legendary Pokemon on the box here as well. Uh, Miraidon, which is uh, the electric type, and Coridon, which is the fighting type. type. Both dragons. Um, yeah, I think as you can see on the dock here, or the deck. Uh, yeah, it's called the dock. Yeah, it's a dock docking uh, device. Uh, you've got the two legendary on there as well. And... Then if you look closer at the controllers, uh, they kind of reflect the colors of the legendary Pokemon. And I think that's the Scarlet and Violet um, game logo, I think, that you have on the video game. Uh, yeah, so it's a quite nice box. Um, uh, I think it comes with the standard stuff, uh, the Joy-Con and the... Um, I don't know how you call this, but it just makes it easier. Uh, to use it when you are just using wide drawn con as a single player. Uh, yeah, there's a bit more design than the normal OLED. I think if you've seen the the, the normal OLED version, uh, it's just plain white or plain black. But this one has a bit of more design on it with the free starters. Um, yeah, so we're going to open it and have a look anyway, but just looking at the box first. Um, it comes with the standard stuff, I suppose. Uh, the main device, the main console, the Joy-Con. Um, some connecting cable, the dock. Um, I think there's this device here where you can connect both Joy-Con on there and use it as a as as a controller uh, with the grips. I think yeah, I think this is a grip. I think that's why it's called. And the the two things there, yeah, I forgot why it's called, but it does. But you connect to the back of the controller here. Uh, yeah, and then you get an HDMI cable. So let, let's open it. So this is an, op an unboxing. So let's open it and have a look what is actually inside. Uh, but the box itself, I think it's done really nice. Um, yeah, so let's, let's open it. In terms of price, I think it's just about 10, 15 pounds more expensive than uh, the normal OLED, uh, the white one. Okay, there you go. So straight after you open it. Um, so you've got the Joy-Con here. This is it's more orange in color, actually. Okay, you got Spiratito, Sprigatito and Fuecoco at the back here. Okay, and I think that this should be the Scarlet, but it, does, it looks more orange than Scarlet. And you've got the Violet here. Okay. You've got uh, Fuecoco and, again, Spiri, Sprigatito at the back. Where's Quaxley? Anyway, these are the Joy-Con and uh, okay, so this is the main device. Yeah, it is a main device. The screen does look a little bit bigger than the standard one. I do have a standard switch as well, but I don't have it with me right now. And but the screen does look bigger. So if you're using this as a single player, uh, of course, experience will be a lot better. And uh, yeah, so I think these were pro the, I think the, the main, the console itself and the controllers are probably the things that are the most important in this. Uh, what do we have here? So I think there's, it looks like there's something here. Okay, maybe a little bit of a simple starting uh, manual. Yeah, some important information on here. Um, so you've got, of course, you've got your cable here, your power cable. That you can connect straight into the switch at the bottom here if you want to charge it uh, without the dock or you can plug it inside the dock as well so that you can play on tv so you need this dock you need this dock to play on tv okay so without this dock you can't really play on tv so let's see there you go whoa that's really nice actually 
I think it's really nice. Yeah. In terms of um, in terms of value compared to the normal OLED, I think even though this is twenty pounds more expensive than the normal OLED at retail price, um, I think this will probably hold value a bit more because it's more of a limited edition, whereas the OLED black or white has more uh, print. Well, not print, but has a lot more copies out there compared to this one. This is more limited. So I will suppose that's the edit HDMI cable. So I think in the long run, this will probably hold a bit more value uh, in terms of if you want to resell in the future. There you go. And this is the grip where you can con connect the, um, the, con the Joy-Con here and use this as a controller with grip if you're playing a single player game. Right, okay, that's the unboxing really. Um, what else is in there? Okay, there you go. I forgot how, 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 how do you call this? Uh, yeah, anyway, you, you put it at the back. You normally put it at the back at, of the controller here. And it makes it a little bit easier to... It makes it a little bit easier to use when you're playing as a single player. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a... Let's... Okay. Uh, let's see if we can... Let's connect this to the main device now and have a feel. This is the first time I'm actually holding an OLED device myself. Okay. Okay, that clicks nicely. And click. Okay. It does feel a little bigger than the uh, standard switch, I think. Actually, you can see, kind of, can see my face uh, on the reflection here. Yeah. Okay, right, so this is a device and I think should you buy this at 350? Um, depends on you because this is a collector's item because it's a special edition. Uh, the OLED, uh, white or black, I can see on eBay that you can, even though it's retailing at, it's retailing at um, uh, 300 pounds, but you can find it for 250, uh, the normal OLED, white or black on eBay. Um, and if you buy from the store for 300 pounds, you need you tend to get a free game or something and, and, and free accessories. Uh, this one is going for a market right now, it's 350. So, but like I'm saying, this is more of a collector's item and it will tend to hold its value a little bit more than the traditional OLED. Anyway, um, yeah. So yeah, this is the unboxing and uh, yeah, I'll leave it to you to decide whether you want to pick this up, but at 350, I think it's still quite worth it. Um, it's not too crazy, it's only a, about 30 pounds above, above RRP. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of the holidays and have a happy new year. I will also do a video before the new year. Um, it's a Pokemon card channel at the end of the day, so I'm going to be opening some packs. Anyway, uh, thank you guys. Like, subscribe, do all this good stuff and I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye.